Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I am here with a 1981 football game between the Cincinnati Bengals and the San Diego Chargers. I will be taking the Chargers. Now, uh, this game was uh, actually uh, played in the during the 1981 season and in the 1981 postseason. Uh, in the 81 season, San Diego got killed. I think the score was like 40 to 14 or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And you might remember the playoff game as being the Ice Bowl in Cincinnati, where Cincinnati again beat them and went on to the Super Bowl. Uh, I believe that was the AFC Championship game. So uh, San Diego not being used to the uh, frigid temperatures at the time in Cincinnati, although I don't know how many of the Cincinnati players were, um, actually lost that game. So we're going to play that game this week. <clears throat> we're going to let the computer simulate the other games, because as you can see, I had simulated uh, games up to this point. Uh, this was week 10 in 1981. And again, I will be taking the Chargers and trying to win with the Chargers. So, here we go. Um, yep. And, uh, and by the way, the 81 season is one of the seasons that I bought with, um, you know, during the, um, the recent sale that Stratomatic had. And I am kicking off. And so, um, yeah, the, uh, the Memorial Day sale that they had, I, this was one of the games that I bought, the 81 season for the football. So, uh, we are going to go out there. Let's take a look at the offense, uh, first of all, for Cincinnati. They will have um, Isaac Curtis at flanker. They're going to have... Dan Ross at tight end. The right tackle will be Mike M. Wilson. The right guard is Max Montoya. You remember Max Montoya? I think he's in the Hall of Fame, actually. Uh, Blair Bush will be the center. The left guard is Dave Laffam. Uh, the left tackle is Anthony Munoz. Or no, maybe it's Anthony Munoz that's in the uh, Hall of Fame. And I, or maybe both of them. I don't know. Leave it in the comments. Chris Collinsworth will be the split end. Of course, the inimitable Ken Anderson is their quarterback. And then you have Charles Alexander and Pete Johnson in the backfield for the Bengals. So I'm going to start out with um, the 4-3, and we are going to go with balanced. I always start out with balanced just to get a kind of a feel for what the uh, team is going to do. And we sack Anderson. So, yeah, a sack by Louis Kelcher of Anderson. And now they have a, uh, they're going to have a second and 15. Second and 15 from their uh, own 24. I am going to put in the pass. Um, and Anderson is kind of just looking around back there. And it's incomplete. So now if you um, bought the Stratomatic set, for um, you know the years that Ken Anderson was a quarterback, you might remember that he had like completions everywhere on flat pass. I am going to put in the pass here. Like even even his interception on flat pass, if it wasn't intercepted, it was complete. We just barely stopped them before they got to the first down marker. So that was a 14-yard gain. Now the question is, is he going to go for it? This early in the game, I would think not, and he isn't. And so we are going to do the punt return. We'll set up for the punt return, and then we're going to have our offense go out on the field. I am going to try to return it. And that was a bad idea. We didn't go anywhere. Well, it wasn't a terrible idea, but we didn't go anywhere. If we'd let it bounce, it might have been actually worse. <clears throat> Could have been better, though. Who knows? 
So we're going to go over the Chargers offense. you got, of course, Charlie Joyner out at split end. Along the line, you've got left tackle Billy Shields. You have left guard Doug Wilkerson. You've got center Don Masek. you got right guard Ed White. Right tackle is Russ Washington. Kellen Winslow, the Kellen Winslow at tight end. Wes Chandler out at flanker. And, of course, Dan Fouts is our quarterback. <clears throat> In this particular year, he attempted 609 passes with a completion percentage of 51 or 59.1 percent, and uh, in the backfield you're going to have John Capaletti and Chuck Muncy. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go off tackle with Muncy. Maybe the problem is now, of course, um, what happened in the actual game? Oh, it's a fumble! No, no. Um, I'm going. You know what? I'm going to pick up the ball and run with it. No, nope, doesn't go anywhere. But we got those yards. And so it's a four-yard pickup. Um, what you uh, might recall, uh, if you are a, especially if you're a Chargers fan, is that the Chargers were a big passing team. They would uh, always, um, let's see, we're going to go Winslow, um, like a look-in pass to Winslow. And that is complete, and Winslow is off to the races, and he gets a good gain. Um, you would remember that the Chargers passed quite a bit because they had the um, they had a very good passing quarterback and good receivers, and their coach was Don Coriel, whose nickname was Air Coriel. So we've got a first and ten at our own thirty-six. I'm going to try to launch it here, but anyway, in this actual game. I think Fouts had like 40 pass attempts, and he's out on his own, and he's getting some good yards. How did Fouts, did he pick up the first down? He did. Fouts got it with his legs. You don't see that very often. So um, you might recall that he had actually had 40 pass attempts in this game. And so I am going to try to, um, I'm going to try to temper that a little bit with a run game. And see if we can make the, uh, you know, hold the ball a little longer. Not give, you know, and therefore let Cincinnati have it less. And see if that helps. So we got a second and eight here. I'm going to go short to uh, Chandler. Short pass to Chandler. He's back and looking and he hits him. So, yeah, that's good. We're moving right along. And uh, let's see here. Um, trying to see if there, uh, there's a, like a box, a little thing that I can have. Uh, yeah, so far today. So we'll bring up this so far today, and we'll put this here. And as you can see, so far today, Fouts is 2 of 2 passing for 33 yards. Um, and, uh, yeah, so he's doing well. We have a 1st and 10 at the Cincinnati 38-yard line. I'm going to go end run with Muncie. Let's see if we can get some yards out of that. And he just uh, gets you know, it gets two or three yards, three yards. So that's not too bad. And we have a second and seven. I am going to say uh, let's go flat pass to Winslow. And it is complete. It looks like, but only for like a couple yards, one yard. So it's a one-yard gain on a quick slant to uh, uh, Winslow. And now we got a third and six. So we're going to go short to Joyner. Now Cincinnati has to be looking for the pass here, i got to believe. And it's still complete. 
Look at Fouts. Look at him. That could be a touchdown. It is. Touchdown pass from Dan Fouts to Chandler. Or no, Kellen Winslow. I guess they, uh, and they, he had to check down and he hit Winslow with it. So, and you can remember, I, was this the one? Or maybe, no, I'm thinking of a different game. But anyway, um, yeah. So, Rolf Banerska is coming out for the extra point. We will just kick the extra point. I expect him to make it. And we have a 7 nothing lead. So, remember in real life, San Diego actually lost this game. But we will see what happens here. So we're going to kick off. Nine oh five left in the first quarter. And that looks like it's going to be a decent return there for Cincinnati. David Verser um, has a 23-yard return there. And um, we are going to... Um, I'm going to look for the... You know what? I'm going to look for the run, and I'm going to key on Johnson. No, they're passing. Should have known that when it was a single back formation, but... But we do stop them short of the first down, but it doesn't matter. It's second down and one now, so... Um, second down and one from the 42. I'm thinking that the San Diego defense probably wasn't that great. Ooh, we almost intercepted it, but didn't get there quite in time, and so it was a completed pass to Steve Kreider. I don't know that I would say it was wide open. That's how the computer characterized it. But we're going to look for the pass. They are they are really they're um, hell bent on passing. There's a penalty. Not sure who that's on. I didn't see. Hopefully, it's on him because that was a big completion. And if it is, I will accept it if it's on them. But it doesn't look like it is. So they're going to have a first and 10 at our 30. I'm going to I'm going to do the run in Keon Johnson again. One of these you would think they would run the ball with Pete Johnson back there. But no, they just throw a touchdown pass. So yeah, why would you do that? So Anderson is having quite the day himself, and they uh, they tie it up. Anderson is 5 of 6 passing for 81 yards on a touchdown today. I'm going to put in the kick block. Maybe we can block the extra point. We can't. And uh, they have tied the game, and so they will kick off to us. And 7.15 left in the first quarter here. And we're returning it. And that's not the greatest return. It's going to be out to the 21. James Brooks returning it to the 21. I am going to go, I'm going to come out long. We're going to go long to Chandler. Fouts should be good at these kind of passes, but that's incomplete. It's just behind Chandler. I'm going to go off tackle with Muncie. And he got about four there, maybe. Yep, four yards. So we got a, we got a third and six. Third and six, very manageable. I'm going to do a look-in pass to Winslow. Got a double tight end in for this. And it's incomplete. Dang it. All right. Going to have to punt. Maybe this is where we start to fall apart. Maybe this is where the whole thing goes off the rails. We are going to punt the ball, though. And, ooh, ooh, the up man caught it. It was only a 26-yard 
punt, and Mike Fuller returned it for four yards. So their offense is back out there. I'm going to look for the pass. I guess they are, like I said, hell-bent on passing. But no, now they run the ball. Although we did stop them after a yard or two. No three. Three yard gain. I'm still going to look for the pass. I think that's how he's geared up here. There is another penalty though. Again, hopefully on them because they got a nice gain out of it. And I will accept the penalty. So... They've got a second and 17 from their own 46 now. I'm going to look for the pass. And he is going to pass. Anderson is back looking for a receiver. And we do hit them as soon as they catch the ball. And it's Dan Ross on the reception. And now they got a third and 11. Definitely looking for the pass. And that is what he's doing, and we do stop him quickly, and so they will have to punt. With maybe just over four minutes left. Just under, it's going to be 3.39 left in the first quarter, and we are going to do the punt return. Set up to return this. And it looks like he's doing a coffin corner. And he does, and it goes out of bounds, it looks like, at the 11. So we're going to have a first and 10 at our own 11. I'll try a short pass to Joyner to come out of the gates here. By the way, Dave McNally had that punt, and you might remember that Dave McNally also was a receiver for the Bengals, in addition to being a uh, um, in addition to being the punter. So um, we have a first and ten at our own twenty-six. Still in the first quarter, I'm going to do a look-in pass to Joyner. Fouts is looking, 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 and he does hit, I'm assuming, Joyner. Yes. For a pickup of eight yards. Cincinnati's Ken Riley on the stop. So we're going to have a second and two. I'm going to do a line buck with Capaletti. And he does get the first down and that's really all we wanted from him. That's all we needed. Fouts, by the way, is 6 of 8 today for 91 yards and a touchdown. And now we got a first and 10 at the San Diego 37. Let's try a long pass again. This time let's go to Chandler. Let's try to hit Chandler in stride, and it, he does, and it could be a touchdown pass. Yeah, nice long touchdown pass by Fouts, and we're back ahead by a touchdown. Of course, you know you got Fouts. You wanna you wanna try to utilize him, and uh, extra point. By the way, Fouts is 7 of 9 for 154 yards and two touchdowns now. And San Diego takes the good 14 to 7 lead. And we will kick off. Bernerska has made two extra points on our two touchdowns. Again, I would expect that. And there's a fumble, and he picks it up himself. So we almost, looks like we had a chance there to recover a fumble, but we couldn't do it. And Cincinnati did do it, and so they will have the ball. First and 10 at their own 27. I'm going to look for the pass. And now he runs it, but, you know, every time he runs it, we seem to stop him, even when we're not looking for it. He only got a yard there, Pete Johnson did. So they've got a second and nine. I'm going to look for the pass again. 
And uh, that is going to be an incomplete pass. So they are behind the eight ball. Now, oh, wait a minute. There was a penalty. I did not notice that. And now it's going to be a first and ten for them because the penalty was on us. I'm going to go with the run on this play. No, he's going to pass. And, of course, he hits his receiver. So... Glenn Edwards on the stop on that. And they're going to have another first down. First and 10 at their own 48. I'm looking for the pass. They run the ball, and again, we stop them quickly. He only gets two yards on that. Gary Johnson with the wrap-up and the stop there. And they are going, we're going to look for the run. And he passes... And it's complete. God. All right. He's got me guessing all kinds of crazy stuff. But we are still in the lead here, 14-7. to In, again, a season where we did not beat Cincinnati. San Diego did not beat Cincinnati in either of the two times they faced him. Um, I'm going to run and I'm going to key on Johnson. I know this doesn't get me anything usually, and it's not going to here because Anderson is passing again. But it's incomplete. Nice to know that we were able to force the incompletion. Uh, Anderson is 9 of 11 today for 123 yards and a touchdown. I'm going to look for the pass. Yeah, I knew he was going to run. But we stopped him. That might even be for a loss. No zero. He got back to the line of scrimmage. So they're going to have a third and ten. Definitely looking pass on this one. Um, I'm going to pa look for the pass and double team Collinsworth. Just for good measure. And he's offsides. And I think I will take that because it'll move him potentially out of field goal range. Third, well, all right, I didn't even, they didn't even give me the option. But it's third and 15. I am going to look for the pass. Same thing, double team Collinsworth. 12.58 left in the half. Anderson is on the run. we got to stop him, and we do. Ken Anderson uh, got a nine-yard gain for that. Wow. So they are going to try the field goal with uh, Breach, Jim Breach. And it's going to be incomplete. I mean, not, not good. <laughs> it's not good. So he misses the field goal. We still have a touchdown lead here. Nice. And we're going to take over at the 31-yard line. Let's try another long pass. Let's see if we can get a long pass to Joyner and really start to put this game out of reach and give San Diego a win in 1981 that they didn't actually have. But that one is incomplete. I'm going to try an off-tackle run with Brooks. And I don't think they were looking for that at all, and he got some good yards on it. 70-yard gain for Brooks, James Brooks, who I believe is one of our kick returners. Jim LeClaire with the stop. All right, we got a third and three. We're going to go end run with Muncie. Probably a little bit risky, and it is very risky, and now I'm going to be even riskier. We've got a fourth and three at our own 38. And I am going to go for it. I'm going to go pro set. And we're going to go look in pass to Winslow. And it's incomplete. Are you kidding me? Dan Fouts rolls out and he can't hit Kellen Winslow. So that was a uh, that was a bit of a uh, stretch, and so now Cincinnati has it first and ten 
at our 38 yard line I am gonna look for the pass let's hope for some kind of a mistake here then which Cincinnati hasn't really made and that was a completed pass that gets a lot of yards gets them right down uh, almost in the red zone not quite and Anderson today is 10 of 12 for 139 yards on a touchdown I am going to look for the run I'm just going to look for the generic run, but no, he's going to pass. you got to believe Anderson's going to take that apart, and he does, and uh, now they're really they're in the red zone, and they're inside the 10. So that uh, attempt of mine to go for it was probably not the greatest idea. 9.59 left in the half. Cincinnati looking to tie the game, and they do. They throw a touchdown pass. That should tie the game up at 14 all. <clears throat> and I'm going to put in the kick block as Breach tries to make the extra point, and he does. So we got a 14-14 game, thanks in large part to stupid coaching by on my part. But, you know, call me crazy. I thought we could, I thought Fouts could complete a three-yard pass to Winslow, and it turns out he couldn't in that particular situation. But we get a nice return, real nice return out to the 43. Let's see if we can put this in before the half ends. Uh, I'm going to go short. We're not going to get too uh, crazy. I'm going to go short to Muncie. And, of course, I get criticized a lot for not passing to the running backs. So here I am doing that. And it is complete. Let's see if it was Muncie. Yes, it is. Muncie on a down and out for 14 yards. Reggie Williams making the tackle for Cincinnati. And we have a first and 10 at the uh, Cincinnati 43. I'm going to go off tackle with Muncie. Muncie was involved in the last play. Let's get him involved in this one. He's going to lose a yard, it looks like. And he does. So we got a second and 11. Uh, second and 11, let's go flat pass to Seavers, the second tight end. And that is going to be a completed pass. It looks like we're a yard short of the first down. And it was to Seavers for 10 yards. We got a third and one here. Um, I'm going to go there, and I'm going to go here, and we're going to go line buck with Muncie. And hopefully he can get the first down. And he does. He just barely gets it, but that's all we needed. So he gets two yards. We're eating the clock, and we are moving down the field. And we also, I believe, will have the ball at the second, the outset of the second half. Um, I am going to go short to Chandler on first and ten. And there is a penalty. I don't know who it's on. I didn't see. But it's a completed pass for a lot of yards, so I hope it's on Cincinnati. Big time. And I'm going to decline it. So, we have a 1st and 10 at the Cincinnati 13. Let's go off tackle with Brooks. Part of eating the clock and trying to incorporate the run more into the San Diego game plan. Uh, we got a 2nd and 8 at the 11. I'm going to go off tackle with Muncie. And I don't think they were ready for that. He got two or three yards on that. Four yards. He got four. Nice. So we got a third and four at the seven. I am going to go short to Winslow. Hopefully for a touchdown. Fouts is back. And he does hit it. Is I would assume Winslow. Yes, he does. Hit Winslow for a touchdown of seven yards 
And we're back ahead, 21 to 14. Fouts today is 11 to 15 for 204 yards and three touchdowns, no interceptions. I'm going to just kick the extra point. And it is good. Rolf Benershka nails it. And we're going to kick off. 5-11 left in the first half. And Verser takes it with an eight, for an 18-yard return. 4.55 is left. I'm going to put in the pass. I'm going to assume Cincinnati is going to try to tie this up before the half. And he is going, Ken Anderson going deep. Who knew Ken Anderson could throw deep? And he does. And uh, he hits Isaac Curtis on a bomb. So they got a first and 10 at our 42. I'm going to keep looking for the pass. And he runs the ball. And this time we let him get four or five yards on the run. Six yards. Excuse me. And... Uh, They've got a second and fourth to 36. I am going to look for the run. And he does run it this time, and we do stop him. So now he's going to have a third and one. I don't expect to stop him, though, regardless of what he does. And I'm going to look for the run. I'm going to look for the run and key on uh, Johnson. But I... Oh, he's off sides. Looks like he was off sides on that. In which case, we will take the penalty. We will accept it. No. Wait, okay, again, he didn't ask me to accept it. He just said, you're going to get it. So it's third and six. I'm This time, I'm going to look for the pass. He might run it, and if he does, more power to him. But he, he did pass a quick outlet pass, and it only got one yard. So he's going to have to kick a field goal. Now, he will get a score going into the half. Oh, no, he's going to punt. All right, maybe he's too far away. I'll put in the punt return. And he again does a coffin corner, but it doesn't work. It looks like it's going to be a touchback. So we got a first and 10. 212 left, first and 10 at the 20. I think you gotta go. You gotta go for this. You gotta try to get a big score and get real out in front of him, and then get the ball back. And that's gonna. Ooh! Oh, it's off the fingertips of Charlie Joyner. Who would have thought that? All right. So um, we're gonna go short to Chandler. And Fouts is back and looking. And he does hit Chandler. And that's going to be a 14-yard pickup. That's nice. We got a first and 10 at the 34. Two minutes left. I am going to go into the hurry-up. We're going to go long to join her. Fouts looking, 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 uh, looking, uh, and it's complete. Nice. We're into Cincinnati territory. I think I'll call a timeout after this one. I'm going to say call timeout, and we're going to go long to Chandler. When you got two great receivers like that and a great passing quarterback, but Fouts doesn't hit him, it's incomplete. We're at the 37-yard line. I love Vropanerska, but I'm not sure he could make a field goal from there. Um, we're going to go, we got a second and 10 at the 37. We're going to go short to Winslow. And that is going to be completed and for a first down and out of bounds. And now we are in field goal range, I believe.
A minute 15, I am going to... Yeah. We'll put in that formation. We're going to go short to scales. Oh! Oh, Fouts, come on! We couldn't take that. He got dropped for a six-yard loss on a sack. Now we got a second and 16 at the 29. I'm going to go short to Joiner. I think we're still in field goal range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now we're definitely in field goal range. 13-yard pickup on that. Lewis Breeden on the tackle for Cincinnati. And we got a third and three at the 16. And I'm going to go short to Joyner. And that's going to be completed, and he's out of bounds at the two. Oh, boy, they're going to force a decision here on me, aren't they? 52 seconds left. Um, I'm going to go off tackle with Muncie. There is a flag on the play. Minus two yards for Muncie. Jim LeClaire on the stop. I am going to accept the penalty. And so we have a first and goal at the Cincinnati 2. 45 seconds left. I'm going to go line buck with Capaletti. And he makes the touchdown. And so we are now ahead by two touchdowns. Two-yard run up the middle by John Capaletti. And we're going to kick the extra point. And make it 28. Ooh, it's blocked! They blocked the kick! Unbelievable! All right. Well. We're kicking off with only 30 seconds left in the half. Cincinnati runs it out. And we stop them at about the 24. 23-yard gain on that, and I'm definitely just going to look in the pass. 22 seconds left in the half, and uh, that's incomplete by Anderson. He's got to throw bombs if they want to have any chance of getting back down by only a touchdown. Going to look for the pass again. Anderson is back. And that is going to be the half. So they are kicking off to us. We will look at the stats in a minute. The stats for the game. I'm going to take a knee for the touchback. And let's take a look at the box score. So you've got uh, Ken Anderson, 15 of 18, passing 204 yards and two touchdowns. Fouts is 16 of 22, passing for 288 yards and three touchdowns. Pete Johnson has rushed five times for 12 yards for Cincinnati. Chuck Muncie has rushed nine times for 16 yards for us. James Brooks has rushed twice for nine yards. Capaletti has rushed twice for five yards and a touchdown. And... Fouts, incredibly, has a 10-yard average, having rushed once for 10 yards. And I'll let you look really quickly at the receiving stats, and then we will get back to the game. So I'm going to go off tackle. Again, we have a two-touchdown lead now, especially, so we want to just eat the clock. And he gets hung up right at the line of scrimmage, it looks like, so zero yards. 
for Muncie, and that's fine. You know, we're just trying to eat clock here. I'm going to go line buck with Muncie. And I don't think they were ready for that. He got a three or four on it. Yeah, four yard gain. So now we got a third and six. Now I'm not going to be crazy. We are going to try to get that. Um, let's go flat pass to Winslow. And that's incomplete. I guess Fouts isn't very good at the uh, flat pass. Not something he wanted to do. So we're going to punt. We're definitely going to punt here. I mean, I got a two-touchdown lead. I'm not going to play around with that. So that's a pretty nice punt, and he's met immediately. 43-yard punt with only a one-yard return. And I'm going to look for the pass because, hey, you know, he's got to get down the field as fast as he can. And, uh, well, he can do it if he keeps running like that. This might be a touchdown run. No, it isn't. We do finally stop him at the uh, 20, at our own 27. But that was a very long run, 39-yard run. Uh, I'm going to look for the pass. Oh, we're offsides. That one's going to be on us. Of course, he'll refuse it because he just threw a touchdown pass and puts himself down by now only a touchdown, a single touchdown. Maybe it's just not in the cards for San Diego to beat Cincinnati in 1981. I'm going to put in the kick block. And he didn't quite get there, so it is good. So now Cincinnati's down by, actually technically, uh, just a touchdown without the extra point. So if he gets a touchdown, he can go ahead by one. He's kicking off. 12.08 left in the third quarter. And we're going to return not looking like a very good one. And he gets it out to the 24. And I guess I better stop being conservative because we got to get down the field. I'm going to start out with a long. We're going long to join her. Let's see if uh, Fouts can hit this bad boy. He launches it. And it is complete to midfield. Beautiful pass by Mr. Dan Fouts. Charlie Joyner on the reception. And Mike Fuller on the stop. So Fouts today is 17-24, 315 yards and three touchdowns. And we're going to go short, medium pass to Joyner. And that's going to be incomplete. Fouts is like, I want to throw it long, dude. Don't even give me this with this flat and short stuff. I'm going to go off tackle, though, with Muncie. Let's see if we can catch Cincinnati with their pants down. We can't. And they stop him for maybe a yard. Yes, one yard gain. Which is going to lead to a third and nine. So, third and nine. Um, I'm going to go short to Winslow. He's back to pass, and he does hit Winslow, and Winslow is running down the field with an escort, with a Cincinnati escort, and they finally do get him at the 8-yard line. 41-yard pass to Kellen Winslow. Beautiful. Um, let's just pop, try to pop it in. I'm going to go short to Seavers. And there is a penalty on the play. That's a touchdown for us, so hopefully it is on him. And we're going to decline it, of course. And so we're ahead 33-21, and I'm going to kick the extra point. Hopefully this time it doesn't get blocked. And so we have another, we've now opened up a two-touchdown lead again. And I guess that teaches me, don't be conservative. Banershka is kicking off to Cincinnati. 9.24 left in the third quarter. 
And it looks like they're going to take it for a touchback. And I'm going to look for the pass. Every time he gets the ball back, if I can maintain a two-touchdown lead, it's on him to try to move the ball quickly, and so I will just keep guessing pass. We're just going to pin our ears back and go after Anderson. And, you know, this time I'll put in balanced. Let's see what that gets me. Yeah, he runs the ball this time. And we do stop him before the first down, but he only has to get two more yards. It's going to be a third and two for him. I'm going to put in the run. I'm going to put in the run and key on Johnson. And he does run the ball, and but Alexander took the ball. We were keying on the wrong guy, and he does get the first down. Now I'm going to go back to guessing pass. And he is. He's passing. Flat pass. And that's going to get him some serious yards. Eight and a half yards on that. Second and two. I'm, going to, I'm just looking for the generic run. And no, he's going to pass the ball. But we stop the receiver quickly right after he catches it. Six-yard gain for Steve Kreider. First and ten for Cincinnati at the Cincinnati 46. I'm going to go back to looking for the pass. 6.06 left in the third quarter. Pete Johnson had the ball and he wove up the middle weaving and bobbing for three yards second and seven I'm gonna look for the pass again I mean it's gonna be very hard for him to try to work the ball all the way down the field just running or mostly running and he hits David Verser on a crossing pattern Anderson does and Anderson today is 19 of 22 for 263 yards and three touchdowns and Verser has just that reception for a 15 yard gain I'm going to try a, a linebacker blitz here let's see what that get me nah, it's not going to get me anything it's not going to get me goodness and he makes the first down gets a 10 yard pickup on that and they are moving the ball methodically although we are making them eat the clock there's only 420 left in the third quarter I'm going to look for the run, just the generic everyday run. And he does run the ball and we stop him quickly, maybe for a negative one yard loss. No, a zero yard loss. He did manage to get back to the line of scrimmage. So they got a second and ten. Uh, now I'm going to go look back to looking for the pass. He runs it again, but this time we stop him after three or four. Four yards. So he's got a third and six. I am still going to look for the pass. Still got to do that. And he does pass it. And there is a sack. We've sacked Ken Anderson. So now they've got to kick a field goal. A field goal isn't really all that great when you're down by two touchdowns with only 309 left in the third quarter or 252 left in the third quarter. And we are going to try to kick block on breach. And it doesn't work. He does make the field goal. So Cincinnati gets three on the board, but we were we did well to stop him from getting a touchdown. And uh, so, yeah. 233 left in the third quarter, and the score is 34-24 San Diego. And we've got a good return right there. It's going to be out to the 43. Hour 43 with a 25 yard return for James Brooks. I'm going to go off tackle with Muncie. Going to try to keep working that running game in. And he gets about two yards. Yep, two yards. Got a second and eight. And a minute 36 left in the third quarter. I'm going to go. 
draw play with Muncie. And he's going to be hit quickly, maybe at the line of scrimmage. Minus one yard, he lost a yard. So we're going to have a third and nine. Third and nine, I'm going to try a short pass to Chandler. Ooh, it looks like he's going to be sacked, and he is. Fouts gets sacked. Nine-yard loss on that. All right, I am going to punt for sure with a 10-point lead. you got to believe that. And we're just about at the end of the third quarter. And we stop them quickly. So Cincinnati has it first and 10 at their 29 with only a few seconds left in the third quarter. I'm going to look for the pass. And he is back to pass, Anderson is. And that's going to be incomplete, it looks like. So he's got a second and ten. I'm going to look for the pass again. And we stop him quickly. It is a completed pass this time, but um, for only one yard to Dan Ross. And we're going to look for the pass. And that is incomplete. So it looks like they're going to probably punt to us as we they have the whole fourth quarter left. We're going to put in the punt return for sure. And I am going to try to catch it and return it. And that turns out to have been a good idea. He didn't say that we fumbled. So yeah, we got it. So it's first and 10 for us at, at our own 32. I'm going to go off tackle with Williams. And he only gets maybe a yard, maybe two. Two yards. Clarence Williams getting two yards. We're getting him involved in the play. Second and eight. I'm going to go line buck with Muncie. And that is a penalty flag. Let's see who that's on. 1348 is left in the game. It's a zero yard pickup. Bobby Kemp was on the play for Cincinnati. And it is going to be on us. I'm going to go long here. Long to join her. Fouts unleashes and it's incomplete. Off the fingertips of Charlie Joyner. So we got a third and 18. Let's, let's try a short pass to Chandler. Trying to involve everybody in this offense. This Sportsman Z San Diego offense. And he works the ball out to the 29-yard line after a 5-yard pickup where Reggie Williams of Cincinnati meets him and stops him. And we are definitely going to punt. Still, we've got the 10-point lead. We've got the good 10-point lead with 12.55 left. And we stop him quickly. He doesn't look like he got any yards. It's a 43-yard punt, and he was dropped after a zero-yard return. So again, put in the pass defense, stop the big gains on the pass, and we should be fine. 12.36 left in the game. And he hits Dan Ross right there for 15 yards. Glenn Edwards on the stop. Anderson today is 22 of 27, 286 yards and three touchdowns. I'm going to look for the pass. 
and he's back to pass, and it's going to be complete. We stop him, but not until he gets the first down. So that'll be a first down Cincinnati on a pass to Pete Johnson from Ken Anderson. And uh, we're going to have the nickel in. We're ahead by 10, 11.23 left. I'm going to put in the pass. Defense, he does pass the ball, and we do not stop the receiver. He gets 16 yards, it looks like, on that. 15. 15 yard pickup. So, 15 yard pickup for Collinsworth with Willie Buchanan on the stop, and we have a, they have a first and 10 at our 29. Going to look for the pass again. I mean, we just got to keep making it take as long as possible. And that's an incompleted pass. Ken Anderson tried the, it looks like the flat pass, uh, screen left, and it was no good. Going to look for the pass again. Second and 10 at R29. He is back to pass. Can we stop that? Yes, it's incomplete. Out in front of his receiver, too far. And so now they got a third down. They got a third and 10 at R29. I'm going to look for the pass, and I think he'll probably try to kick a field goal if we stop him. And that is incomplete. He's at the 29, so he can probably try a field goal with Breach, and I'm guessing that's what he'll do, and he will, and we're going to put in the kick block. And it's no good. Breach hits it wide right, or wide left, wide left, I guess. And so we have it first and 10 at the 29. I'm going to go off tackle with Brooks. And he's going to be tracked down in the backfield for a two-yard loss, looks like. One yard. Uh, second and 11, we're going to go flat to the split end joiner. Of course, this isn't his forte. He likes to throw short and long. But was that completed? Yep, four-yard completion. So looks like we'll have like a third and seven. Third and seven at the 32-yard line. I'm going to try a short to Winslow. And it's incomplete. But again... The biggest enemy of Cincinnati right now is the time. Because we have a 10-point lead. And I am, of course, going to punt. And he does return it, but not for much. So, uh, first and 10 for Cincinnati at the 26. I'm going to look for the pass. Again, that's the game plan. And we're, it looks like we're going to sack Anderson. We do. We sack Anderson at the 15-yard line. 11-yard loss on that. Gary Johnson tracks down Anderson. So he's got a second and 21. Definitely looking pass here. You can't run the ball here. And he isn't going to. He's looking for a receiver. And that's incomplete. Our defense has been up to the task here. Actually, our defense has played quite well. 24 points for a team that actually scored 40 and then won again at home uh, in the playoffs. And we're going to look for the pass. Third and 21. you got to hope we can stop them here. And we do. But now, time is really not his friend now. Absolutely not his friend. Let's see if he tries to go for it. Willie Buchanan makes the play there. No, they're going to punt. McAnally is back to punt. Or, or McNally, whatever his name is. 
I'm going to try to return it. And that's going to be a, looks like a decent return. Yeah, we're going to be out at the 36-yard line. 55-yard punt by McNally and a 19-yard return by us. So let me just got to... So uh, we got a first and 10 at the 36. I'm going to go short to Chandler. Let's try to put the pedal to the metal here. And that ends up being an outlet pass to the running back, it looks like. Chuck Muncie on a screen left for nine yards. And we're going to go off tackle with Capaletti. 5.59 left in the game. He doesn't quite get the first down. In fact, he only gets back to the line of scrimmage. So, third and one, I'm going to go line buck with Muncie. And he does get the first down. So, we've got a clean set of downs here. As the clock keeps ticking away for Cincinnati, against Cincinnati. As I said, that's the biggest problem he's got right now. We're going to go flat to Muncie. And it is complete. Muncie is off to the races, but he does get tracked down. Brian Hicks finally pulls him down, but after a gain of 22 yards. So we got a first and 10 at the Cincinnati 31. I am going to go off tackle here with Capaletti. And he gets a nice little gain there. Five yard gain. And let's go short to Chandler. Second and five. And that's incomplete. He had to go to the outlet running back, Muncie, and it was incomplete. I'm just going to try to get a little closer for a field goal. Third and five at the 26. We'll go off tackle with Brooks. And he gets a first down, oh, but they f he fumbles, and Cincinnati recovers it and returns it a little bit, too. Still, I don't think that that's going to be devastating right now. There's only three minutes left in the game, and they're still down by ten. And we are going to look for the pass. Anderson back to pass, but he hits his receiver in stride, and I don't know that we, it looks like we'll get him. He does get out of bounds. He gets out of bounds at the 22. Now, again, we have to worry about the fact that if Cincinnati scores a touchdown here, or really even a field goal, that he might try an onside kick. But there is only 240 left, so he doesn't have a lot of time to work with. And we do stop him before the first down. He got a uh, got a six yard gain there. And it's a second and four for San Diego at the sixteen. I'm gonna still look for the pass. This time he runs the ball and the running back will just make it out of bounds in the backfield for a loss. Minus one yard. So it's going to be third and five. He's got to pass the ball. i got to believe he's got to pass it. There is a penalty on the play, 
Let's hope it's on him. Nope, it was on us. So he's got a first and 10 at the 12. I'm going to look for the pass. He runs the ball, and uh, we got him in bounds, too. He couldn't even get out of bounds. And I guess they overrode my um, calling the pass defense. I'm going to call for a pass. Anderson is back to pass. And it is intercepted. I'm going to try to return it. Looks like maybe Anderson made the stop there. 25 yard return. Well, they didn't say. But anyway, I am going to. It's only a minute 37 left in the game. We're going to go off tackle with Williams. Give him another run. Oh, he fumbles the ball. Are you kidding me? But it looks like we can jump on it. We did jump on it. So, a four yard gain, and we recover the fumble. And no, we didn't. They did. They recovered the ball. It looked like we did. All right, so he's got a first and 10 at our 35. I'm going to look for the pass. Still up by 10, so we're still in pretty good shape here. Minute 30 left. He's got to call his timeouts and hope for a lot of luck. And we do finally track him down. Now, it's good we tracked him down there. If he had scored a touchdown, who knows? But I think he's still going to need an onside, a successful onside kick and then some luck. I'm going to look for the pass. There is a penalty again. That's a touchdown, so hopefully the penalty was on him. I didn't see. And nope, it was on us. So I am going to try to block the kick. And it is blocked. We did. We successfully blocked it. He's down by four. That means he needs a touchdown. He is going to try an onside kick. And uh, if I get the chance to say that I'm, yeah, recovered, recovered by the kicking team? What? All right, but he needs a touchdown. There's a minute seven left. That's incomplete. All right. I still like where we're sitting in this. 34-30. We're leading. I'm going to look for the pass. He is offsides. This time, clearly... He was offsides. And, uh, yeah. So now he's got a second and 15. I'm going to look for the pass. Ken Anderson is out on his own, and he's just going to run out of bounds for some reason. So he's got a third and 16 at um, their own 40. And we stop his running back. I don't know why he ran the ball. We are approaching the end of the game here. That is incomplete. Now if that had been complete, that could have been dangerous. But he missed Isaac Curtis Anderson did on that one. And uh, 37 seconds left. Oh, alright. Yeah, that was incomplete. So we've got the ball back. Alright, good. 
I'm going to go and run Muncie. He gets three yards, but more importantly, that may be the end of the game. And it is game over. We win it 34-30. A game that we actually did not win, and we will look at the stats. Anderson was 29 of 41 passing for 422 yards and four touchdowns and an interception. Fouts was 23 of 34 for 404 yards passing and four touchdowns. Pete Johnson rushed the ball 11 times for 63 yards for Cincinnati. And Anderson rushed it twice for 9 yards. Muncie rushed it 16 times for 27 yards for us. Brooks rushed it 4 times for 17 yards. John Capaletti rushed it 4 times for 10 yards and a touchdown. Clarence Williams rushed twice for six yards and Fouts once for ten. And again, I will let you just look at the receiving stats. But yeah, that was it. And I got uh, San Diego, the win that they did not have. And that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.